Welcome to yet another edition of uh, Top Fives. Last time I spoke about five hunks, the likes of Vinod Khanna and Dharmendra had made themselves into that list. This time I'm going to talk about another five gentlemen. They are gentlemen and they have a charisma that's inexplicable. Smart, cute, star, stylish, fashion icons or not fashion icons because they don't set so many trends. As they are those lovable ones and in that list, the first. A Padma Bhushan Award winner, a Dada Satpalki Award winner. Born 26 September 1923, died in 2011. Lived for 70 plus years in the 20th century and for a decade and plus more in the next. And died extremely energetic, extremely young. When you talk of young, you think of him, Devanand. Actor, writer, producer, director, married to Kalpana Karthik, uh, brother of two very famous film directors, Chitan Anand and Vijay Anand, maternal uncle of yet another great director, Shekhar Kapoor. I think Devanand was a much greater actor than he was a director. More on that some other time. Uh, from the Prabhat Studios, it was uh, Babura Pai who said, the boy struck me because of his smile and his beautiful eyes and his tremendous confidence. I think that remained, that impish smile, that lovely confidence that the man had was something that he carried to his grave. Hamir Khair in 1946 was his first film where he also bonded with Gurudath, another great master of Indian cinema. That's where it is said that they promised each other their first film as a director and producer and came CID and uh, came Bazi and films in which Guru that directed, you promptly had Devanand as the hero. Uh, for a long time, his love affair or his love story, turning sour of course, with Suraya was the talk of the town. Obviously, he looked like Gregory Peck, another actor whom Suraya admired and in fact, there is a story that he was a tad jealous when she wanted to meet Gregory Peck alone. Uh, Ziddi, another interesting film because the film has in 1948 a song, Ye Kaun Aya Karke Ye Sola the first duet by Kishore Kumar and Lata Mangeshkar. While Kishore Kumar remained the uh, ghost voice of Devanand, don't forget there are some amazing Muhammad Rafi songs also picturized on Devanand. Devanand is a product of a time when music was essential to cinema and his cinema itself plays a huge, uh, plays huge importance on music. Now, Dogyara, House Number no. 42, CID, Paying Guest, Terengar Ke Samne, Solva Saal, Baat Ek Raat Ki, Prem Pujari, Guide Jewel 3, Fasli Nakli 3, Devya Ham Dono, Kala Bazaar, Kala Pani, uh, Guide, Johnny Mera Naam, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Desh Pardesh, Man Pasand. And then the slide. Lootmar, Swami Dada, Ish Kish Kish, Kham Nau Jawan, Lashkar, Abwal Number, Sau Karod, Sensor, Charge Sheet. Those were real at the Ibis. But he was the one who romanced with life. And he is at number one of my choices. At number two, another style icon. Truly somebody that people loved when he was a child artist with that dimple in his smile, till his late days, when he, uh, till his very late part of his career and after he retired, he was plump, he was grey-haired, he was in a wheelchair and yet people said, wow, Shashi Kapoor. Born 18th March 1938, died on the 4th of December 2017. He was a child star in his brother's films like Aag and Avara, uh, debut as an adult in 1961, Yash Chopra directed B.R. Chopra films Dharamputra, followed it with Prem Pat, Char Diwane, all flop films. Uh, he was in fact an assistant director in Postbox number 999, a film in which Sunil Dutt made his debut. He continued to be an assistant director in some of the films acted by his brother Raj Kapoor. Sriman Satyavadi was one, Dulha Dulhan was another which he did with Vahida Rahman. 
English films. He was arguably the first Hollywood actor that we had. Holly, uh, he did Householder, Shakespeare Wala, Heat and Das, The Guru, Siddharthan and a few more. He won a national award for his film New Delhi Times in 1986 where he performs the role of a journalist. He also won a special national award for his performance in the film Custody. Brilliant films that he has given us, Kalyug, Vijayata, Utsav, 36 Chaurangi Lane. He directed Ajuba. Didn't really belong to a camp because, uh, for example, Prakash Mehra, after he discovered Amitabh Bachchan, never went back to his Hasina Manjaigi hero. And uh, neither did Shashi Kapoor turn and tell him, Chalete saath milkar chalenge saath milkar tumhe rukna padega meri awaz sunkar. His heroines. Oh, he's done a lot of movies with Nanda, Hema Malini, Rakhi, and also films with Sharmi Latagor, Zainataman, Maushmi, Parveen Babi, Babita, Neetu, Meena Kumari, Benazir, Asha Parekh, Mumtaz, Shabana, Rina Roy, Rajeshri. Strangely, he did not pair with Sadhna. I find that very strange because both of them were very pleasant looking. Both of them were favorites of uh, the Yash Chopra camp. Wonder how y uh, Yash never thought of getting Sadhna and Shashi Kapoor together, though they did act in a film together. Uh, Shashi Kapoor was paired with Sharmila Tagore and Sadhna was paired with Sunil Dutt in Vak. Uh, there's a connect between him and the next person and I will tell you what the connect is at the end of what, when I talk about actor number three. The man who set the country in a frenzy. A man who had 15 solo hits between 1969 and 1971. Born 29th December 1942 till he passed away tragically on 18th July 2012. Solo hero in 106 films and 22 multi-starer films. Made his debut connect with Devanand also. Chetan Anand's film Akhri Khat which was Incidentally, India's first official entry to the Oscars. The film, of course, didn't have too much of Rajesh Khanna in it. Heroine of the movie was Indrani Mukherjee. I'm talking obviously about the phenomenon Rajesh Khanna, who's won the Lifetime Achievement Award for one who started off from being chosen by the United Producers and Film Fair at an All India Test, something he shared with the likes of Dharmendra Manoj Kumar. Uh, his very second film, Raz, was where he played a double role. Flopped in his earlier films like Aurat, Doli, Baharun Ke Sapne, Nazir Hussain's film. But then came Ittefaq and Aradhana. So impactful was he as an actor. That Indian cinema changed its face from there. It brought in every other actor just was swept away by this phenomenon called Rajesh Khanna. Kamoshi, Hati Mera Sati, Satcha Juta, Aapki Kasam, Andaz, Daag, Do Raste, Prem Nagar, Anand, Kati Patang, An Milo Sajna, Mariyada, Amar Prem, Babarchi, Rishikesh Mukherjee, Aapki Kasam, Jai Om Prakash, Ajnabi, Shakti Samanta, Avtar, Chalya Babu. And then he goes on to win the Best Critics Award in Avishkar, a film directed by Basu Bhattacharya. Acted with almost every heroine, but very specifically Mumtaz, Sharmila Tagore, and he formed a very special pair. He also acted, of course, with very different other actresses, Hema Malini, Rakhi. Uh, we don't have to list them all out. Arguably, at a time when people married his photographs, nobody saw that kind of frenzied fandom as stardom as Rajesh Khanna. The next in the list, somebody very, very contemporary, or is he? From the phenomenon, we move to the Badshah. Strangely, from circa 1942, I'm jumping to November 2, 1965, born. Does it mean that in between we had nobody? Probably one actor. I'm going to take him off the list for specific reasons I'll come to later. And now talk about this romantic, sweetie, take home actor who probably is the only in the list who not only was a very sweet charismatic guy with a dimple in his smile but also had claims to having the six pack when it came to roles that required him. Uh, 
for the Badshah, 14 Filmfare Awards. I know there was a tongue-in-cheek uh, uh, banter between him and uh, Vidya Balan that's making its rounds where she asks him, how many Filmfare Awards have you won? And he says 14. Then she promptly asks him, how many did you buy? Won't go there with the Padma Shri Award winner. But uh, was small before he became big in the sense that he moved from circus to becoming the ringmaster. Uh, also, uh, with his first three hit films, apart from being the best debutant in Divana, where he shares screen space with Rishi Kapoor, uh, he was an anti-hero in Bazigar, Dar and Anjam, where he plays negative characters but becomes the winner. Romanticist of the Rajendra Kumar, his run for Jubilees, found a tough competitor in this man. DDLJ, Dil to Pagal Hai, Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, Mohabate, Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Gam, Swadesh, Chak De, The Asperger Syndrome, My Name is Khan, Chennai Express, Jab Tak Hai, Jaan, Dear Zindagi, Veer Zara, Kal Ho Na Ho, or the list goes on and on and on. I'm going to skip these and tell you that he's also embarrassed his fans. Vivek Chandrasekhar, I hope you're listening. Uh, Ravan, Happy New Year, Dilwale, Zero, Fan, when Harry met Sejal, bad films from him. But who doesn't have uh, a basket with a few rotten apples? Uh, he's supposed to have won 297 awards and he's still counting. Uh, among the many awards, he's won Best Debutant, Best Actor, Best Critics Actor, Best Villain, Anjam. So, he's won them all. He's won Screen, he's won Filmfare, he's won uh, Z. He's really had the knack of walking up and taking the award. Well asked. I know that he constituted a huge camp with Karan Johar and Aditya Chopra and became a power center. But uh, more of that in some other context, some other time. We now move to the last in the list. But I told you and I skipped the connect between Shashi Kapoor and Rajesh Khanna. Now, Shashi Kapoor was first offered Anand by Rishikesh Mukherjee. He had become the taxi by then, as elder brother Raj Kapoor had called him, being hired by everybody for a film. So he didn't have dates and therefore Rishikesh moved to Rajesh Khanna. Rajesh Khanna returned the compliment to Shashi Kapoor when Raj Kapoor wanted him playing the role of the hero in Satyam Shivam Sundaram and the role went to Shashi Kapoor eventually. Now, back to the fifth in my list. Also the reason why I skipped one in that huge generation gap because one too many Kapoor's in a list of five doesn't make it very representative. So I had to choose, uh, I restricted it to two Kapoor's and I had to make a choice between Rishi Kapoor and Ranbir Kapoor. Also because Ranbir is more contemporary and it's more difficult in contemporary times to be the sweet boy when the six pack is your USP. I thought Ranveer just caught that edge over Papa Rishi Kapoor. I'm not going on that because Rishi has his own qualifications to on his own make it to this list. He loses out just because there were one too many Kapoors and in that list of Kapoors he had to lose. Uh, Ranveer also started off as an assistant director like his uh, uncle. But soon, Sanjay Leela Bansari got him onto the right side of the camera for a star. And therefore, he came with Samaria, which was a flop film. But then came Bachanai Hasiro, Wake Up Sid, Ajab Prem Ki Gazab Kahani, Rocket Singh, Besharam, Bombay Velvet, Tamasha, Aydil Hai Mushkil, Jagga Jasus, and his last big hit, Sanju. Uh, I think he had a romantic uh, image, both in cinema and outside of cinema. Uh, he's ensured that that image is there with his personal life too. His heroines, of course, include Katrina Kaif, Priyanka Chopra, Bipasha Bhavsu, Manisha Lamba, Deepika Padkorn, Gaur Khan, Anushka Sharma, Sonam Kapoor, and of course, Alia Bhatt. Uh, he's also been a regular awards winner, Savaria, Rocket Singh, Rockstar, Burfi, Sanju, He's won so many awards. And again, like Shah Rukh, still counting. An actor who you're going to see a lot of and who has immense talent apart from charisma. 
Uh, with this, I'll have to sign off with my first five, but I'll only thank uh, Abhinav and Ritika for uh, giving me uh, research support on material and men. Also, Abhinav, special thanks for uh, shooting this entire episode. Also, uh, let me tell you that in my next episode, when I catch up with you again, I hope to talk about five stylist ladies. So if you have anybody who's a favorite of yours and who you think should not be missed in the list, do feel free to write to me. You know where to get on touch with me, alarchandar.com or on my YouTube or on my Facebook or definitely you can call me up, those of you who know me well and share who you think should be in that group. Till then, bye-bye and thanks for watching.